Florida Governor Ron DeSantis spends a disproportionate amount of his time harassing and scapegoating LGBTQ youth and drag queens. DeSantis piously frames his anti-gay and anti-trans attacks as, quote, efforts to protect Florida's children. However, the governor's record tells a very different story. The Department of Children and Families, which was created to help youth that have suffered a Abuse, abandonment, and neglect reports, quote, unacceptably high vacancy rates and surging numbers of investigators leaving the job. This has happened on Ron DeSantis' watch. Between June 2019 and June 2022, the vacancy rate for Child Protective Investigators, or CPIs, has jumped from 6.6% to 21%. During the same time frame, the turnover rate for CPI swelled to a whopping 71%. How is that even possible? The Sun Sentinel reports, quote, the high vacancy rate has a negative impact on staff morale and overall well-being due to increased overtime and excessive work hours. Exit surveys for investigators show that a low salary is a key reason why CPIs are quitting in droves. As of July, the base pay for investigators was $39,600. So Governor DeSantis, the great defender of children in Florida, seems to have unlimited state funds to fight vanity culture war lawsuits, but he habitually shortchanges the investigators charged with helping youth in crisis. The mind-blowing hypocrisy of DeSantis' Protect the Children racket was laid bare by a Tampa Bay Times Miami Herald review of state financial transactions. They revealed, quote, as Governor Ron DeSantis has waged an aggressive war in what he considers woke culture, his ideas have come under fierce legal fire with more than 15 lawsuits challenging his policies. Four private law firms, each with deep connections to Republican Party politics, surprise, surprise, have been hired to defend the state and cost Florida taxpayers at least $16.7 million in counting. Instead of saving children's lives, Governor DeSantis is funneling taxpayer money to rich lawyers to boost his standing with social conservatives. His selfish desire to become president has taken precedence over keeping Florida's mistreated youth safe and secure. That's all one needs to know about the broken moral compass of an ethically challenged governor who has cynically elevated his career over Florida's children.